the opinion that people have about you is their opinion. Let me help you out right now. I don't care how long you've been a procrastinator. I don't care how long you delay to do stuff. The people opinion of you are their opinion. Mm -hmm. What if today you wake up and you said, you know what? I am going to get some stuff done because it's time to change and I want to change. And you start doing everything. Someone will come and say, oh, really? I know you, please. <laughs> a procrastinator, you soon stop what you're doing. You know what? Yeah. Your opinion is theirs. That's right. Don't That's make right. it break you. Don't make it hurt you. You do you. I am glad that you mentioned that because I, I get... A lot of the people that I talk to, I get that a lot. I mean, they, they have the attitude, they have the motivation, but the mental conversation that they are having with themselves, that is the one that is destructive. And, you know, my husband is not going to believe that I'm going to be doing this, or my kids don't believe in me, or, uh, you know, people at work already know me like this, and they keep talking to themselves, and it's just like a mental destruction. And that's how they procrastinate because when you actually meet them, they are driven. They have vision. They, they want to do so much, but then, oh, I can't do it because yes. of all the noise that they are listening to. Yes, and that, and that is something that everyone has to learn to fight. Mm -hmm. In your brain, there's so many chatter going on, but if you want to take care of you, yeah. If you need to bring yourself to a healthy place, yeah. you will need to tell the shatter, shut up, not now. Yeah. I am taking care of this and this is what I'm doing. And the other thing is, I may need you to start to hang out with awesome people. That's right. I need you to hang out with people that are amazing. That's right. People that are getting stuff done. I need you to know this though. Even though these amazing people that are getting stuff done, they have areas where they procrastinate. So you may help them too. That's right. That's Just right. getting around people that want to change their life and get stuff but, done. But what I've learned is that based on whatever my upbringing was, based on whatever influences were, there was there was a mindset that was not serving me, uh -huh. right? I and and I was no different than so many other people. I had my bouts with self doubt. I had my bouts with self esteem. I had my own little voice that said, "Who do you think you are?" Uh -huh. As as I'm discovering, yeah. and what I learned was that until I got real clear about the source of those messages, that by the way are all untrue. Yes. I had, there was no way, I could, I could sit and listen to you, Sandra, all day long. I could go watch motivational seminars. I can read the best books. If those tapes are still playing in my head and those are still the beliefs that I've got, nothing will help me. That's right. So this was all about, for me, getting real and honest about, first of all, where those come from and then countering it with the truth is about me. So... And, and, that, and that can be a difficult thing because if I've been mired in self-doubt and who do I think I am yes. to suddenly dare to go, well, you know, I actually believe I'm pretty capable and I actually believe that I'm actually worthwhile or worthy or the right person for this. That was a hell of a shift, but yes. it's also a very necessary one because that's the truth. Yes. And whatever greatness that you and I are fixing to do on the planet or another human we have got to be willing to own our greatness and be in the truth of ourselves if we're going to do great things out there. You said the magic word, the greatness. A lot of people are afraid of that uh, word. Oh, I can't be great because God is the only great one. That's why we can be great. Not that we are, but we can. We have yes, so much yes. awesome things inside of us and yes. we have to be able to live our greatness. So, I mean, like, I, I just love them what you said about that. Can you explain a little bit more about that? You know, Sandra, um, we were, we weren't put on this planet to be small and a lot of, a lot of very wise people have said it in more eloquent ways before me. We are here to be our fullest, most wonderful, greatest, most spectacular, talented version of ourselves. That's right. We weren't here to be small. Right. And, and 
who knows what those talents or what that greatness leads to. For some folks, it may have impact on others. Some, it may have indirect impact on others. Yes. So for one person, it may be their great skill and their great ability when they give themselves permission to is to build, build beautiful homes or beautiful buildings. Yes. For the rest of us to be able to appreciate, admire, have that feel good feel, whatever that is, we all bring mm-hmm. a gift of yes. some kind. Yes. And maybe it is to lead and and help heal people. Maybe it is to build. Maybe it's to sing. Maybe it's to dance. Maybe it's to perform. Maybe it is to be the greatest parent on the planet yes. that that creates children that go off and do grand, beautiful things, whatever that is. But we're never going to get there. We're never going to be able to bring our beautiful gift if we've got messages inside that say, who do you think you are? That's right. At Zima, you get high quality services for less than your monthly cell phone bill. It's perfect for individuals who do not have health insurance or who have a high deductible in their health insurance plan. Prompt and same day appointments for sick visits. Unlimited office sick visits without a copay. Your satisfaction is our only objective, so please don't hesitate to contact us and let us show you all the amazing options we have for you. Hello, 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 everyone, and this is your faithful friend Sandra Gravis, and thank you for watching and Vivo Live. Don't forget that if you're an expert in a particular area, I want to hear from you. I want you to share your story. I want you to share your voice right here on En Vivo Live. And if you want me to be the host of your event, also get in touch with me. Info at EnVivoAssociate.com. Again, that is info at EnVivoAssociate.com. Whatever topic you want me to talk about, except politics. But I'm willing and I am able to talk about everything that you want to talk about. No politics. But don't forget, to subscribe, 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 subscribe here on In Vivo Live. Mwah. Bye-bye now. People keep making the same mistakes because they blame you know, the fail their past relationships while they chose the wrong person and they, they have to find the right person this time. And then they end up with the same kind of person and the same kind of situation. And over and over, you know, I met a guy who's been divorced four times. And I said, well, like... <laughs> Didn't you learn anything? <laughs> like, what did you learn from all this? And it was like, he, he, he was telling it's like he made the same mistake each time. He really chose women that really weren't for him, weren't really, you know, he, he made all these excuses. Said, but wait, you, you have to change yourself. So, yeah. you know, when you're ready for a new relationship, like, you have to say, what do I have to learn from all this? Especially, you know, if you had two relationships that ended the same way, it's like, what's the common denominator? What What's in common here? Me. Yeah. I'm... <laughs> Yeah. So what do I have to change about myself? And that's really that's the main thing. When you do that, when you say, I have to be different because uh, I want to be treated differently. I want to be treated respectfully. I want to be. Uh, I want a decent relationship. What do I have to do differently to to get the response I want? And that's really what the book is about. It's like you could blame your ex-wife. You could blame the women you've gone with, and the, and women can blame the men. But you know. I, no, 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 no. I want a woman that is smart and strong and a woman that pay her own bills and I want her to cook for me and I want her to be romantic and I want her to listen to me and I don't want to do anything. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, that's, that's, that's the thing. So you think you're going to get that kind of uh, woman now if you're not going to, you know, you have, you know, a man has to be worthy of, of a woman that treats, you know, you want those things you want. Are you the kind of man who inspires her to be that kind of woman? So if you do nothing, you expect her to do everything? Well, yes. good luck. But if you show her, you know, I'm doing this, you do this, like you're both putting in and, and, and she sees how this is the kind of man I want to be a partner to. Because really, what does a man want? He wants a woman to be his partner. So, But he has to be worthy of her seeing him as someone to be a partner to. Yes. And that that's that's really, that's what my book is about. Work on yourself to be worthy. Be a leader. Make decisions. Take responsibility. You know, so many times you hear men blaming their wives for the things that went wrong. It's like, you don't get it. <laughs> You're destroying your marriage. And even if she did it, and even if she pushed you into it, it doesn't matter. 
she sees you as responsible and if she pushed you into it and you knew it was wrong you shouldn't have done it because now you're blaming her and you're just destroying everything there's a problem step forward and take responsibility and deal with it so That's the exposure you're... tool simply means being willing to step out of the zone that you are in and when i say that i mean it both mentally and physically because by being willing to do that then you can move closer to where you want to be while i was living down and out the thing that i discovered is contrary to the uh, popular saying opportunity will not come knocking to your door <laughs> I had to step out of my comfort zone for opportunity to happen to me. That's what you have to do. You see, by leaving those ghetto circumstances on a daily basis and putting myself on the college campus and classes, I ended up crossing paths with many people who became instrumental to my rise above welfare. That's right. That couldn't have happened yeah. if I would have stayed there, right. if I would have given up or if I would accept that as my normal. So you have to be willing to expose yourself. Expose yourself to what? Expose yourself to unlimited possibilities. And how do you do that? You step out of your zone. Because look at it this way. Why would you only want to have the possible opportunities that you can conceive? That means you're only going to have this much. When in actuality, we have an entire universe yes. where things could come into play and line up in such a way that it takes your breath away how things can come together for you. If you are willing to discipline yourself, do the work, and remember to be resourceful, to be willing to expose yourself, those are just part of helping things happen. Right. So we must not fear the unknown. We must not rely on our teeny tiny little human thinking. I don't want to rely solely on mine. I like when I get something that happens because I took a first step. Yeah. Something that, oh my goodness, who would ever thought that I would get an opportunity to? Okay, that can't happen if you're not willing to expose yourself to it. When you remain fearful on the unknown, all you are really doing is locking yourself, freezing yourself into the situation in which you do not wish to be. That's right. So you must expose yourself to the unknown. That exposure tool will inadvertently guide you to where the unlimited possibilities are. Thank you, thank you for watching In Vivo Life, your number one bilingual personal development show. Because we are here to help you grow. If you wish to be a guest on our show, please send us an email to info at InVivoAssociates.com If you wish to be a sponsor, please contact us. But keep in mind that we only accept sponsors we believe in. Again, thank you for watching In Vivo Live.